Alright, hello YouTube. I am going to show you how to make a basic weapon in Blockland. Alright, I'm just going to show you an example of what I am capable of making. Sometimes I could do better, sometimes I do not as good, but this is about what I'm usually doing. Alright, this is my MP40. Work in progress right now. Should be done later today. It's really good detail model not fully scaled to the real thing because you don't want to go too much in detail with models because they become if you heard the term high poly it will lag your computer if you have too many of these running in block land at once and it's it's going to be fully animated it has hands I just don't feel like showing them all it has is fire animations four and bring down the time See, it's pretty relevant. Found a code that lets you put multiple fire animations in the same gun so they fall in a pattern. It's the gun a lot more better. That was really bad grammar. <laughs> Alright, um, well, I decided that we should start making a really, really basic gun. Do not jump to making something complicated really fast because it will probably end up in looking really bad or you'll just end up making something which will take too much time. You need to know how to start with the basics before you jump into something big. Everyone should know that for any any type of hobby or topic. Alright, so you're going to want to handle something not not too wide, not too thin. You want to look co you want it to fit cozy in the hand of the blockhead. No. The purple line represents the direction that the weapon's going to be facing, so the north head of the weapon, so like the muzzle would be facing this way, and the handle and the stock would be over here, but you just want the main parts facing this way. Don't worry about anything else. Just tells you the ac axes. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and I will include it in the description. You need, you, depending on how complicated you want to get, you're probably going to want hands D2, hands S, hands 2. Sorry. It gives you the two default hands in a rifle position. This is good for when, you, when you're doing two-handed weapons, or if you want a base for your weapon so you can base it off when you do, like, see how that's not, see how this is too wide? So you want to want to go in here and scale it down a bit. that if it's relatively in the hand. I'm not going to rotate the hand because this is about what it would be in on the blockhead. We're just going to make a one-handed gun. We're not going to go really detailed. Um, what could I do? Okay. This is going to this is going to require some now this is going to require knowledge of milk shape. It's called extruding. If you don't know how to do this, you'll have a hard time making weapons in Blockland. Now we're going to hide Control H, and you'll hide the selected faces or the groups. And same thing here. Select so you don't select this top part right here. Control H. Now you're left with what's called a fa one of the faces. There are two point two triangles connected to make one box. Select that. Control Shift. H will unhide everything and keep the selected item. Now here's where it gets interesting. You need to click the extrude option and then click extrude. Sometimes you'll see some of these some of these vertexes, they'll change color, they'll be red, but right here it didn't let you do this. See how it came out? Very good for modeling and getting stuff like this. It's what I do most of the time is extrude. And this is Part of what you'll be doing for um, bullet, like the muzzles, are you you see through inside. If you see my guns, you'll know what I'm talking about. Other people are too lazy to even bother with that. So let's get something like this. Now again, I'm making something basic on my terms. You may not want to make something like this. You may want to make something different. But this is just getting the basic idea. Make something similar, something basic. I'm just making something something so you can look at 
not gonna be anything. No, it's not gonna be anything good. Do not post this on the forums. You'll be flamed. And a quick um, flat shading fix. If you go to Tools, Tile Texture Mapper, and you click Cancel, it refreshes all these, and it makes it look better for for personal purposes. You may not want to do it. It depends on you. Now we're just going to do some more extruding. Bring this out more. Now here comes some more interesting parts. Let's say you want the... Uh, the muzzle part. We'll take this, rotate it a bit, looks pretty simple, pretty decent, All right? Alright. Now, just, just because of the way I am, I'm gonna make it a little more complicated. Make it look somewhat appealing. As best as I can get something that looks this boxy. And you want to match up. I do a lot of physical manual um physical stuff. I do all the dragging by myself. So sometimes things not by might not be precise until I overlook it a second time. So, something like that, maybe. Drag this out. Nope. Oh, I want to make sure that it's scaling. So I can just drag this freely without going up and it won't affect it. Uncheck in that. And you want to go to extrude again. And for the barrel, so this is a cylinder. And if you mess around with milkshake before, want to oh, uncheck that. You want to take it down like this. Let's see how the ring's forming as I do that. Alright, once you have the, uh, this will be the thickness of the barrel and this will be the diameter inside. And you want to click extrude again, go back to move, bring it in. This is something I didn't learn for a while. Credit the Ooxie, if you watch this Ooxie, again, thank you. It's a big help for the modding. Now, now, if you want, if you want to get a little more technical, Control D. This duplicates any object or face that you select. Now, drag the duplicated face outwards. What this will prepare for is the black of a muzzle. Like, you're not gonna want to look directly inside a muzzle and see all parts inside. That that's just too much work. To make it simple. Take you take that. And you color this face we duplicated black, and it look like you're partially seeing inside. Just gives more depth. And that's about basic. Let's add some nice default looking thing. Like the default kind of trigger when it's all white. Right. Something like that. Yeah, something like that about works. And... I'll spice it up a bit by adding like like the default handgun has like a little thing on the bottom. Something like something like that. We're not gonna get that bad. Basic understanding. Alright. So we have a gun, and the hand serves as a base for when you're holding it, how it's gonna look.